Hey crafters! I'm Lisa Fulmer and this is Saturdays with Lisa. Every week I have a webcast where we learn about some new craft products, we learn about some new techniques, so I hope you'll join me on Saturdays live. But what this Saturday is all about is the word. How word can become art. A single word or a group of words. And I'm working with this particular book called The New Ultimate Guide to the Perfect Word. It's volume two. Really great tool filled with quotes and quips and all kinds of um, journaling prompts and all kinds of great ideas for coming up with great words to use in your craft projects. And I'm going to also be working with a product called Craft Attitude and that's an inkjet printable film and um, it comes for all different surfaces and I'm going to show you how to use that and we're going to make this really cool plaque. Let's get started! So this is the project we're going to make. It's a little plaque and it was inspired by a passage that I read in the book that said words become art. And I really um, thought that was kind of cool. It really resonated with me because words can become art. So I decided to create a word mosaic. I've seen some of the little apps where you can plug in some words and it automatically puts them into a, a heart shape or you know creates a little mosaic for you. But I wasn't as happy with the results and you have to pay money to get a really good download. So then I went to my trusty Microsoft Office because I don't have any fancy graphic design software and I um, started working in PowerPoint and I just um, picked a whole bunch of words. Some of the words I found in the book and others kind of came naturally that had to do with art and had to do with painting. So on the surface of the smooth foam I just blended a little iridescent medium. Um, I'm using Liquitex with a little uh, white paint. Um, this is actually an iridescent white and the only reason I added a little white paint was to give it just a little opacity and the medium, this iridescent medium is what's going to give it a nice very very light sparkle without like a full-on glitter effect and so just a couple drops of paint in a puddle of medium mix it up and then just paint it on your surface and let it dry so now what we've done is we've printed out the word mosaic onto a sheet a full sheet of the um, inkjet uh, film and what's really important there's a bunch of things that are important you want to print your image in reverse because when we peel this film off the paper liner, it's going to be applied to the surface like this. So you cut it down with the liner intact. And then once it's ready to go, now we are going to start the process of um, adhering it to the surface. So the first thing I do when I'm working with a large sheet of film is I you don't want to peel the whole paper liner off and then have this really flimsy film because if it current turns over and kind of sticks to itself it's kind of difficult to work with so when I'm working with a large piece like this I usually just peel the liner back a little bit at a time so get that corner with your fingernail or you know maybe a little craft knife and this is not self-adhesive that's what the glue is for but you want to keep that film flat and just um, fold back that liner and kind of fold it in half. And we're just going to um, work with a little bit of the film and peel that liner back gradually, all right? So the first thing we need to do is um, apply plenty of glue stick to our surface. You want to make sure that, the, um, that there's no little... Um, knobby bits of glue, no little chunks, so take your finger and really smooth it out and make sure it's um, nice and covered all over the whole area. All right. You don't want to handle uh, the film too much in the center because you don't want to get fingerprints, but basically the side with the ink on it is going to go upside down and be against the surface, so you don't have to worry about the ink scraping off your finished project. Once I've got that first edge smoothed in, I'm going to slowly peel back the rest of my liner and smooth it down as we go. And just like with working um, in, like with decoupage, you just um, you just want to go a little bit at a time and press from the center out uh, to get rid of. Make sure you don't have any creases, or um, and you're not pressing on the ink. The ink's underneath, so it's totally safe in that regard and then just slowly rub it off and be really careful when you get to the end because it's easy to accidentally um, fold the film underneath itself and then it just takes, takes a little patience to get that unfolded. You've smoothed it out. 
If you have any edges or corners that don't didn't get any glue, just kind of lift it up and put a little glue underneath. And it really looks like it's just printed on the foam. The film just kind of melts away and you can barely even see the edges, especially after the glue dries. All you can see is the texture of the surface beneath and whatever you've printed on top. So now the next thing I want to do is I wanted to kind of distress the edges. So I, I took my pad of distress ink and I'm just going to kind of rub it along the edge of the foam all the way around. I'm going to try not to get too much on the film itself, but if you do, never fear a damp um, baby wipe or a damp paper towel. You take that ink right off the film if you've got it on there and it, you know if you accidentally got it on your image. You just take that right off and then use that same um, wet paper towel or baby wipe to smudge that ink into the foam and give yourself this really nice um, overall kind of distressed look. And that texture of the foam comes through which is pretty cool too. It gives it an interesting interesting look. And then what I did was I took some very thin um, uh, ribbon, super, super, super narrow grain black ribbon and a little glue stick and I just created a little frame right along the edge of the film. And even though you couldn't really see the edge, it just kind of finished off the, the mosaic. And the last thing I did was um, I'm adding, I'm in the process now of adding uh, a frame sort of around the edges of the smooth foam and here is how I'm making that frame. So I'm working with a couple of products from the hardware store. I've got some aluminum tape uh, and it's, um, it's really nice shiny silver and I've also got some tacky uh, window screen repair tape and they both happen to be the same width which is really great. And this is tacky but not permanently sticky. Uh, whereas this has a paper liner um, where that you could peel off and so I'm going to um, combine the two and what I did was I just laid down some of the screen on top of the silver and you end up with this which ends up being a really cool um, edge for my frame. Now uh, once I laid that down there it was still a little bit tacky on top and so, and I realized that it kind of peeled off a little easily because the screen um, glue on this isn't permanent. So I actually placed some glue stick, I rubbed glue stick on the top of the uh, aluminum tape. I laid down my screen tape and pressed it all into the glue so, so it's, um, they're permanently uh, glued together now. And then as far as the tacky part on top, I just sprinkled some clear glitter on top of that and it gave it a little bit of sparkle and it, and it um, kind of sealed it up and got rid of the tacky. Alrighty, and so then it's just a matter of peeling back the paper liner on the um, aluminum tape. Alright, and then applying that to the edge of your frame. I did it flush to the front and I wrapped the excess around to the back and I'm going to do that all the way around all four sides and I'm done. That's the project. So there you have it words become art with a little craft attitude film and a helpful book filled with quotes and a few uh, a few interesting things from the hardware store and a glue stick yo happy crafting bye